friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on September 4th, 2022. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, a look at world weather. Starting out here, watching the last 48 hours of imagery brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Still observing that large plasma filament eruption, coronal mass ejection, southwest region of the sun as well three pretty active regions cresting in right now going to be keeping an eye on that a lot of plasma associated with these bright regions looking at the last 48 hours outgoing we did just recently have a c-class solar flare pretty sure it was from this outgoing sunspot region it has been very active watching the last few frames there yeah bright little flash a couple of them as well this is another look at it this was in the southeast region of our sun outgoing but it is set most likely to give us a glancing blow as it was a full halo coronal mass ejection meaning coming towards earth having a look at multi-spectrum at all the last 48 hours of events pretty spastic in the northwest and as well in the southeast after that big plasma filament eruption another closer look at that spastic region outgoing and another look here where we can see the coronal holes one equatorial region which we are already being affected by over 600 kilometer per second solar winds and as well our kp index is at six right now kp of six so geomagnetic storm is in effect and on watch here high latitude power systems may experience voltage alarms solar x-ray flux showing there a signature of a c-class solar flare but our geomagnetic activity, as I said, is in KP6. So we're definitely going to see some northern lights and auroras tonight in the northern hemisphere. I do not have the southern hemisphere map. I'm sorry. I'll get that for next time. But tonight we're definitely going to see a show over Canada, westward into Alaska. Amazing show for Alaska tonight and as well Russia. So eyes to the skies. Geostorm in effect. Having a look at Lasco 3, showing all of the energy taking off from our sun, as you can see all around that disk. It's coming at us right now. Magnetosphere, having a look at our solar winds, creating our magnetosphere. Six, over 600 kilometers per second. Right now we're sitting at 613 after being jacked up as posted earlier 660 or 674 kilometers per second was the highest reading today so wow very close to 700 after we had a crack in the magnetosphere something happened switched schumann resonance for today a power of 29 having a look here at telemetry for the schumann remnant resonance healthy little spike there in the last couple hours heads up amplitude of 29 quality of 8 and a power of 14 now let's get to earthquakes here as the largest reported here the last 24 hours was talked about in the earlier video today 6.9 mid-atlantic ridge we haven't really seen much since we also haven't seen very many deep earthquakes either we've seen a couple uh rare earthquakes here peru 4.6 and as well poquito argentina that was yesterday. Honduras is seeing a 4.6 today. And as well, Costa Rica, 4.4. Activity continuing through the Caribbean, as per usual, but pretty sizable today. 3.9 and a 3.7 there. Virgin Islands across the United States. Not too much to report across New Madrid, but the West Coast is a rocking today. Mira, Mira Lorna, California. And as well, Pinnacles, California, 3.5 there, 3.6. And as well, some activity here. Stanley, Idaho, 3.4 reported. Two of them, 
plus a 3.3 and a 3.2 there off the coast of Oregon. Juan de Fuca Plate. So heads up, I want to give you a close look here at the earthquakes over Los Angeles and as well off the coast and through San Andreas Fault Line as well, Pinnacles, California, 2.2. But look at this pretty close earthquake to the beach. That's right, Manhattan Beach saw 3.0 earthquake. Los Angeles. Hawaii, not too much to talk about today. Largest through the region, 2.9 Quieting down through Alaska, 4.6 here reported at Balea Gora, Russia. That's up into the Arctic Plate. Japan region, it just saw the 5.3, sizable 5.3, Izu Islands. So down towards Nishinashima, Bonin Islands, 4.5 there, Philippines, northern Philippines, and as well 4.5, Santa Monica, Philippines, south region, Timor-Leste, seeing activity, 4.4, 5.1 there, Indonesia, just north of Krakatoa, 4.7, Vanuatu, 118 kilometer depth, that's about the deepest earthquake we've seen the past 24 hours, 4.2, Greece, and there's been quite a few earthquakes here recently since the 5.6 there last week. And as well a 4.5 here to report north of Iceland off the coast there. 4.5 Iceland. Quick browse here at the last seven days for earthquakes. As our largest through the week has been now the 6.8 earthquake was reported in Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Pretty quiet nonetheless, and we're sitting at about 215 earthquakes across the USGS map. So, slightly below average. Stay tuned for the volcanic activity report and as well planetary positioning coming up. Stay tuned to Daily Events Worldwide. Now let's get to weather. We're going to look at world weather, looking at the southern hemisphere right now. And this is upper level winds. This is where we get our winter vortex. Observing here the southern polar vortex, but I wanted to show you the winds that we're packing. This was back September 3rd. This is before we finally started to get some Atlantic hurricanes. But the winds at that level were literally 550 kilometers per hour. And that's probably the most and the fastest that I've seen this year as we've been pelted by a lot of space weather events over the last little while, ramping things up, I'm sure. Now let's get back to September 1st. As you can see, those were the highest recorded speeds at upper levels, 450 kilometers per hour. This is a look at our southern polar vortex. And as well, our equator. We'll take a moment here to thank everybody for tuning in as well, subscribing to Daily Events Worldwide. Let's give a shift here at 1,000 feet, showing our surface level streams and pressures. Look at that jet stream riding across the Pacific. Things are about to really cool down over the next couple weeks. We are just about into autumn for North America and as well, most of the Northern Hemisphere. Some big systems developing in the long range here as things have ramped up in the Atlantic. Big storms heading towards Ireland and the United Kingdom. Having a look here at windy models. There is Hurricane Danielle. And here is Tropical Storm Earl, who's going to follow in behind and grow into a pretty sizable storm in the long range here. Let's put this all into motion. Very large low pressure system affecting the United Kingdom. 
and then watch for Danielle to come around to the coastlines of North Spain Saturday into Sunday. And then watch Earl here gain strength and size moving north through the Atlantic. And look at all the systems that are going to be coming towards most of Europe. You've got a lot of rain forecast for the next few days. Watch for flash flooding, parts of Spain. And then we've got another tropical system here developing off the coast of Africa. And there's the size of Earl forecast for next Tuesday. So Hurricane Danielle, the first at, or sorry, the first in quite some time, Atlantic Hurricane will be eventually heading to northern Spain. We've also got a Pacific system hanging around the coastline of the west. Let's give a quick look here at our waves and as well storm surges as northern Spain will be affected here as Danielle hits the northern coast. And then look at the size and the swells that Earl is going to be kicking up. Most likely 10 foot, 11 foot swells. And that's quite opposite here and looking in the southern hemisphere. This is forecast for off the coast of Antarctica in the long range. Watch this region here. As those waves are going to, those swells are going to be kicking up 12 meters. So yeah, sorry, Earl would be kicking up 10 meter swells and 12 meter swells in the southern hemisphere. Going to leave you a quick look here at our weather systems around the world, North and South America, pretty dry until this next weekend coming up. No major tropical systems affecting the United States. One tropical system heading towards northern Spain. Monsoon rains continue through India and as well Indonesia. And possible tropical heavy rains and downpours through Central Africa. And then look at Europe here over the next few days as that big system starts to roll in. And as well a tropical system next Monday into Tuesday. Heads up, everybody. Our weather is a changing. We still have Typhoon Himemnor, who's heading through the North China, North China Sea right now, heading into South Korea. This is the forecast for Monday into Tuesday. Eye of the storm heading right over South Korea. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody worldwide that may be affected by extreme weather events, earthquakes, and volcanoes. Stay aware, prepared. Stay young and have fun, and we'll see you next video. And as I said, next video that will be coming up will be the Volcano Activity Report and Planetary Positioning. Heads up, we got some big changes coming. And as well, some possible snow for northern Alberta. Much love. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.